is episode 5 of my show, A Strange Alternate Timeline. This is a three-part episode. Hope you will enjoy. Part 1. After discovering the book, Eva and Mia have been spending some time studying through it. Like Eva said, it might not have anything about only technology, but there was still a lot of fascinating stuff in it. The rest of the group were just doing their own thing while waiting for them to be done. Oh shoot, I've got my charger and my phone nearly dead, Sarah said. The panic, we got a charger downstairs, Eva said that she got up to get it. No, no, Eva, you continue reading, I'll get it, Dash offered. Cag Stash, Eva replied as Dash ran downstairs. Before going back to the book, Eva picked up the only ball. I wonder what else this can do. It can detect mind-controlled computer chips, but what else can it do, Eva wondered. And then all of a sudden the ball shaked and glowed and the portal all of a sudden opened and the fire was sucked into it. A few minutes later, here's the charger, Sarah, Dutch said as he came back in the room but noticed no one was there. Where did everyone go, he wondered, and then noticed the ball on the ground and all of a sudden the portal opened again and he was sucked through and was all of a sudden outside in a busy town. Well, this isn't our town, is it? Where am I? Dash wondered and then noticed the girl on the Vespa with some pizzas. Eva, he questioned as he saw it was her and where Dutch were. Eva, what's going on? What happened? There was this portal and um, where are we? He asked. I'm sorry, do I know you? Eve asked. Excuse me, of course you know me. We've known each other since kindergarten, Dash said, confused. Sorry, but I think you got the wrong girl. Now, if you don't mind, kid, these pizzas are going to deliver themselves, Eva said as she drove off. She did it get far, though, as Dash all of a sudden jumped on. Whoa, are you mad? Eve asked, angry. Eva, listen to me. You do know me. I think that portal must have scrambled your memory or stuff, but you know me. You know me at hand. That was saying, but was interrupted. Mia, Eva questioned. Yeah, you know the changing, Dash said. You mean that thing they're keeping at the military, Eva asked. Military, Dash questioned. Look, I don't have time for this. Can't have these pieces going cold, so hot box kid, no free wives, Eva said. Wait, let me try stuff, and Dash said, and grabbed Eva's hand and performed their secret handshake from when they were in kindergarten, and Eva remembered and stopped the Vespa, although the sudden stop made Dash slide off. Hey Dash, glad you could join us, Eva said as Dash got up happy. She remembered now all they had to do was find the rest and get home, somehow. Part 2. So you draw the square pool is Dash asked as they stopped at a farm. Yep, I delivered a pizza to him here, although like me not knowing you, I didn't remember him. I never imagined him as a farm boy, Eva said. I never imagined you as a pizza girl, Dash replied that they went to find him and found him a chest and shoes on a horse. Paul, Eva said. Oh, you're the girl that bought me my pizza, aren't you? What are you doing here? I already paid for it, and who's this poor ass looking at Dash? Um, well, you might not remember who I am, but I do know you, Dash said. Oh, really? What do you know about me, then? Poor question, not really buying it. I know that you loved your race, and that when we were at the park, we would almost always have a race when on our bikes, and you and me used to play football every Saturday when we were younger, remember, Dash said, and Gagli, that got him to remember, two down, three to go. As they kept searching, they found Sarah as a dog catcher. Okay, up until she adopted a buddy, that's exactly how I pictured her, Dash said. Got you, you fleabag mutt, Sarah said that she napped the dog in a net. Sarah, Eva called. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Sarah said. Still kind of Sarah, Dash thought to himself. Sarah, let him go. You love dogs now, remember? Eva said. Why would I love this dirty, fourth-leaf creature? Sarah asked. And then Dash remembered that before he picked up the ball and came here, he grabbed Sarah's phone to see where they were, and that gave him an idea. Sarah, look at this, Dash said, showing her a picture of Buddy. Okay, somehow he does look cute, fluffy, and gentle, much, Sarah said. But why would she care? Dogs are mainly rabid animals. But then she felt like she said that before, and how one animal was offended by it. And then she remembered the lesson she'd been through and decided to release the dog she was holding. Once they found Daniel in some closed up area, they were in for a surprise. Well, Daniel's cyborg, that's 
Nathaniel, what happened to you, Eva asked, shocked. Must eliminate all trespassers, he said, and tried to take them out. Eva tried to think of stuff and jog Daniel's memory and then remembered the app he showed them and remembered what he got to say. Sarah Eva called, asking her to come over and whisper in the plan to her. Sarah wasn't happy with it, but it was better than being destroyed. Daniel, I think you're cool, okay? Sarah shouted and that got Daniel to stop. You really think I'm cool? Daniel was, having his memory back and then noticed what he was. Well, I'm half robot, so that just makes me even cooler, he said. Okay, now it was time for the hardest, most dangerous of all, and if Mia really was at a military, things will be easy, Dutch thought to himself. Part 3 they arrived at the military and sneaked in without being seen and went looking for Mia without being spotted. Attention! They heard Mia shout and saw that she was commanding some soldiers. After a bit of harsh training from Mia, they went to another station. We got to get Mia out of here, but how? Sarah wondered and then Eva smelled stuff unfamiliar and sneaked away to look in the barrel. Chum, Eva said, getting an idea. Mia was in the middle of doing push-ups when she suddenly smelled stuff and that drawer kind of smelled amazing. I am in the middle of training, but no one would mind if I had a snack break. Can't go to war on an empty stomach after all, Mia said following the smell and then noticed she was out of base. Oh, seems I've walked into enemy territory. I'd better head back before any of our enemies catch me, Mia said. But for some reason could have moved. She was too torn to that smell. And then she saw some unrecognised humans approaching, one carrying the stuff that had the wonderful aroma. I should have known I'd fallen into a trap. Well, you won't bring me down without a fight, Mia said, preparing herself for battle. Well, easy, Mia. We're not here to fight, Eva said. So what, you surrender, Mia asked? Well, no, I'm sort of. We just want you to come with us, Eva said. If you think I'm just willingly giving myself up, you've got another thing coming. Don't make me send out a distress call, Mia threatened. Mia, don't. We're not here to adopt you. We'll stay in everything if you just come with us, Dad said. I told you, you will bring me down without a fight, Mia said, and attacked and shoved Eva to the ground. Sarah, give me your phone quick, Eva called. Okay, but whatever you're going to do, do it fast, because to remind you all, I'm nearly out of battery, Sarah said and tossed the phone to Eva. Mia, look, it's all of us together, see? You know us, Eva said, showing Mia a picture of all of them. What? Mia questioned that she took the claws off Eva and allowed her to get up. You're our friend, Mia. You saw that after losing your own kind, you would do anything to protect us. And even though you don't remember, I know you still feel guilt for what happened back after we escaped from the lab. But it wasn't your fault. You would never hurt us by choice. And I know deep down you won't hurt me now, Eva said. And let Mia have the chum showing there was no catch to it. Eva, Mia said, remembering. Thank goodness, that's finally all of us. Now, how do we get home? We don't have that only ball, Sarah said. Forget the ball, Mia said, and activated her powers to manage to open the portal, just like the one from that ball. Let's go home, Mia said, and they went through the portal and arrived back in Eva's bedroom. Oh, my robot body is gone, Daniel complained. I think you're cool without it, Sarah said, which made Daniel smile. That's twice the day that Sarah called him cool and he liked it. Well, it looks like you've got something else to add to the list of what that thing can do, Eva. It can send you all into a different timeline and can erase your memory, Dash said. Yeah, about that. If you travelled through the portal, how come your memory was taken, Eva asked. Dash shrugged. He didn't really know any more than Eva did on what that thing can do and what on earth took place today. He's just happy everything's back to normal and Sarah's happy that she can finally charge her phone. The end. Hope you all enjoyed.